In today's episode, I'm walking my dog here, Bertie, from um, Hook Norton in the Cotswolds. Um, it is now the 29th of March, 2021, and the uh, restrictions are just eased, where you can um, go farther afield in just local areas. So it's the first time we've been on public transport for um, a long time. Freedom! So, today is the 29th of March 2021. The restrictions of eased. So now you can uh, go far out of your local area. And I can use public transport. You can uh, officially use it for day trips, not over night trips. So the dog is absolutely sick of walking on the same routes and stuff for the last I've got knows how many months and so am I and at last we got on the bus and now we're actually walking alongside um, remains of the Cotswold Railway which is now disused. Well, I've actually never been along here and I must say it's a really nice walk along the uh, old railway track here. Um, I think there's a path a bit further down actually on the track as well so maybe we'll walk along that another time. I think we'll definitely be back up here again. So we actually got um, a bus to Hook Norton in the Cotswolds. Uh, it's a nice place in itself to have a look around. It's obviously got the famous Hook Norton uh, brewery. Uh, and there's a, I think there's like a pottery there as well. Yeah, actually I was thinking, we're so lucky to live in the Cotswolds. Uh, it's not a, a national park, it's an area of uh, outstanding national beauty. But it would not surprise me if at any point it becomes a national park. A Lots of people come from all over the world to see its famous uh, style of villages. I mean, I think the villages in the Cotswolds are some of the best villages in uh, the whole of Britain from what I've seen. Don't drink that, please. Sewage treatment plant there. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea him drinking it. I don't know what this is here, whether it's an abandoned farm or one they're doing up. It's hard to tell sometimes. I'll tell you what, it is beautiful along here. It's funny, like they're not they're not incredibly big hills, but when you've um, been away from the hills for so long, like the smallest hills just seem so impressive. Wow, well, I can't tell you how good it is <laughs> to be walking somewhere different for a change. Really good. We're going nuts walking the same routes all the time and it's so good being able to use public transport again. Uh, so annoying not being able to get on public transport before to go a little far for a field rather than the same bloody walks all the time. As I said before, the dog was just getting really bored of it. It's good for their mental health as well as human mental health to you know, have a variation of uh, walks rather than the same locations all the time. I'm mean, just making all the difference today. Like I've never actually, I've never even walked down here before ever. I don't think I can't, can't remember coming down here. So uh, you can see all the uh, sheep's wool where the sheep have been brushing against the branches there on the end of the field. But don't worry, there's no sheep in this field. They're in the other field. There's a fen they're fenced off. The dog can't get to them. Um, of course, if we do go and eat. Uh, fields with livestock or wildlife I put him on the uh, lead. Now I've got him on the lead because we're going through um, a field that's got a few sheep in and it's quite difficult to film because he loves uh, pulling on the lead. We're just going uphill now to the next village and then it's uh, another bit of um, I've been to this village before coming up. Right we've got to go through this church and then it's cross country again. I'm guessing it's this way. I have to have the dog on the lead going through here, of course. But as soon as we get in the field, as long as there's no livestock, I can let him off. Okay, just had to get under these uh, bloody electric fences. 
there was an option to open it but as it's um, raining a little bit I find that the um, electric current uh, travels through the, the rain, the wetness on the handle and gives you an electric shock so you can't even touch the, uh, the plastic because you get a shock off that as well. Such a limbo under these, um, it's un under this electric fence. The dog was all right. All right, I'm gonna have to put him on the lead now because there's sheep. Also trying to get my dog to um, get used to public transport again because it's been so long since we've been on public transport. Um, our bus ride, he managed not to bark. He was getting a little bit agitated. He has a lot of energy. Um, had to give him some treats because he was about to hoot. Um, but yeah, I managed to stop him from hooting. And um, yeah, I think um, I, I've got a toy, one of his favorite toys with him, like a ball and a string. I think that's keeping quiet if he started hooting when I go to Lake District. Because I plan on uh, going to Lake District as well with a friend this year and taking the dogs for uh, 10 days. So I think he'd really enjoy that. Good boy, wait for me. Wow, this is really cool. I've never ever been along here. Keep going. Oh, this is awesome. They got boardwalk and everything. It's like, come on. Beautiful. Definitely going along here again. Looks like the bridge has not been renewed for a while. Oh, this is a sighting. We got a woodland walk going up a kind of like cleft with a small stream running alongside, I think. And at the end of this, before we come to a road, I believe there is um, a quarry. And I've just gonna put my foot in a load of horse shit. It's amazing what a difference it makes <laughs> Walking through somewhere new, a new woodland. Oh, I feel incredible, man. I'm not joking. It's such a great feeling, especially it's, it's a place I've never been to before, and that's even more cooler. It's almost remind me from when I was in Tasmania, uh, bushwalking on the um, Port Davy track, and it went through some pretty dense bush, and it went really dark, even though it was in the day because the canopies were pretty dense. My battery's already running out on my Canon G5 X Mark II. The batteries don't last long in it. Like I've got a spare battery and I've got a battery pack which charges the batteries as well. You can actually uh, charge the battery while it's in the camera on this uh, camera. So you'd have to carry an extra um, charger. Surprised there's not more people walking around here actually. Might be because it's muddy. This is so cool. Can't believe I've never been here before. Come on. This way, Bert's, please. Oh, can hear the road, we're getting closer. Quarry must be near here then. This shoe's quarry. Better put him on the lead now. Burts, come here, lead time, mate. Enjoying that, Burts. Nice, refreshing water after this long walk. I think it's okay, it looks fairly clean. Hopefully. Come on, don't drink too much of it just in case. Come on, Burts. Good boy. <laughs> the branch is dead. <laughs> Ha 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 ha